Let's go. Good girl. I'm out for a walk with Miss Lila, our extremely leash reactive Bernadoodle girl. And I'm making this video to show her family how to act on walks when you're passing other dogs to keep yourself, Lila, and the other dogs and people safe. So whether she's on a long line, like she is right now, or a six foot leash, it is in my hand. I always have control over it. I also always have her remote in my hand, ready to give her direction or corrections if needed. For walking, I'm feeling pretty secure. I am doing the job of scanning the environment to make sure there's no off-leash dogs that are going to rush us because Lila needs somebody to really advocate for her. If somebody comes up and says, can our dogs meet, even if she's been doing really good for a few months at home, her owners are going to say, no thank you, she's in training. And that should be that. If they keep coming or if the dog is off-leash and out of control, her family needs to be ready to block with their bodies or with their feet and really show Lila that she is safe with them. She's doing really nicely now. So what do you do if you are walking with her and you are about to pass another dog? I'll show you that, but we need to find a dog first. We're walking, I can see that we're about to pass a dog. So what I'm gonna do is call her into heel. Heel. And then I'm going to make space. I'm gonna go this way and curve around that dog. Very good girl. Gonna keep an eye on her, hi cutie. Keep an eye on Lila. She reacted very nicely. She looked, but kept on moving. Nice job. But that whole time, my finger's ready on the remote in case she decided to react in a negative way. Lunging, barking, hackling up, growling. I would correct her, but keep moving. Nice job, girl. Good. So she passed by that dog very nicely. I'm going to release her again and then repeat the process every time we pass another dog. Lila, break! Wait, Do I think that Lila will react negatively to a dog if we pass right by them, just a few feet away? Honestly, no, uh, but it is common courtesy and also you don't know how that dog is gonna react. So we wanna make sure that we keep our dog safe and confident in our skills as a leader and also keep all the dogs around us safe just in case she does have a lapse in judgment and make a mistake. Having that extra space will give you time to react to her reacting. My remote is always in my hand and ready to go. Now, what if you were walking Lila and she did react to a dog and start to charge them? Your first plan of action would be to correct at a higher number. If she's working at a, let's say, 37, you'd probably go up to a 60 or higher so tap and then you would tap the tone and say come get her back in heel keep moving the point here is you need to be very vigilant be aware that when you pass a dog there's a chance she could react nice job and be ready to hit that button and give direction good girl good girl break <laughs> 